I've also noticed a lot of my friends, when they go to these sort of places, hop on dating apps, Tinder, Hinge, to name a few. Do you feel as if you could find a long-term partner on these sort of websites and dating apps? Ah, oh, you, you could say never say never. I'd really struggle to take someone serious that I've met on a dating app. I personally don't use them. I haven't since I was in my teens, really, because I don't think there's long-term utility for the app because I'm looking for a woman with quite a high sexual marketplace value. I typically don't find those kind of women on a dating app because why are they on a dating app? Well, 90% of women are on there for reasons that lower their marketplace value. And so it doesn't really make sense for guys that are genuinely chasing excellence, guys that are striving to find the best partners, guys that are trying to put themselves around the best caliber of women. You ain't going to find them on a dating app. Now, I'm not saying there isn't any gems out there. I'm sure there are some girls that are out in the hills somewhere that just can't seem to actually come across men and they jump on a dating app. I'm sure there's been case studies to suggest that, right? But your average John on a dating app is not going to be high marketplace value. And as a guy that's chasing excellence, that's a concern. And I think you're, you're, you're setting out to really not find perfection there. Now, you've got to ask yourself why you're doing it. That's, that's the most important thing here. You've got to understand why you're on the dating app. Because as a guy, if you're just looking to transact and you find a girl that's also just looking to transact and essentially you've mutually agreed by matching on this dating app that you both want to partake in a one night stand, then fine, you've transacted, you both know it's nothing serious, you haven't got to worry about a marketplace value because you're just meeting at one time and that's that, job done, right? But for me, I'm, I'm not at a point in my life where I'm just chasing one night stands. I've never really been that kind of guy anyway. But even now, I don't really want to sleep with a girl unless I can see something building in the future there. I think it's quite a pointless transaction for a guy to just set out to find girls with no purpose, to just keep matching with consistently, with no development there. Nothing material ever comes. And I think that's quite a waste of time. If you're young, you're 18, you're 19, you're fresh to uni spinning plates, it's not a bad idea. But I think eventually you've got to ask yourself, you know, what am I actually looking for on this dating app? And why don't I just go out of my way to find real valuable women in the real world? So I think for the most part, a lot of girls will actually use these dating apps to seek validation that they may not be getting in their lives on a one-to-one -one perspective. So I don't think that they can all be tied with the same brush as they are a girl who sweats Tinder, for example. These girls may have created an account and then forgotten about it. So it'd be difficult to always have the perspective that you couldn't build a relationship with a girl who is on dating apps. I mean, me, myself, I've gone on there in the past. I've, when traveling, especially, I may go on there to sort of have a look what the girls are looking like. And that isn't always from a like sexual standpoint, not necessarily seeking to then go ahead and find a girl in, in the city that I'm staying at or the country that I'm in, to then go ahead and sleep with them. But maybe to even build a connection and be shown around a city, for example. This isn't from a past experience, but this is something that could definitely be done. Could you ever see yourself being with a girl who may have spent extended periods of time traveling by themselves? I think just in the same way that we spoke earlier about girls that go partying, potentially girls that want to go on holiday, it's not a problem. And I'm sure there are examples of great girls that could be fantastic partners that happen to have gone traveling alone. But I think what you've got to ask yourself again is like, why are they going? What is their intention? Because there are going to be certain girls that are clearly traveling as a means to try and open up their dating pool to more men in a different place. There are girls that are trying to escape the reality that they've created from previous bad decisions. So ultimately, you've got to ask yourself, why are they going? I think that's going to give you the key answer as to whether or not she could potentially be a good partner. Uh, it's kind of difficult for me to answer a question. I'm like, is she going to be a good partner when I don't know anything about her other than that she's gone traveling? But I would say, just like anything else, you've got to ask yourself the questions of why. You've got to understand the reasoning for the decisions that they've made.